Hello and welcome to another episode of Tips and Ideas with Ed Wallace of Midwest Landscaping, www.uniqueenvironments.com. Well, we have a wrap over here in Laguna Hills, California, a landscape makeover, um, put in um, new drought tolerant uh, plant material. We have our, our drip, Netafim drip system going on. And we have our acorn mulch on top, we have some accent boulders, We've got our decomposed granite pathway our uh, recycled um, plastic edging along the edges there different varieties of drought tolerant plant material we have very simple the way that this plan was developed was to have a plant so many square feet this was put together by uh, metropolitan water district of orange county so there's some minimums that they have to meet in order to get a rebate here for taking out the turf here in the back and replacing it with uh, drought tolerant and water conserving plant material and converting over from a conventional spray system to a drip. So there's a lot of room for um, more plants to be installed, but this is the basic palette here. We have a, a outbreak of um, nutgrass coming up. So we sprayed this nutgrass with uh, some sledgehammer, which is uh, a herbicide that's gonna kill the nut sedge. And uh, that nut sedge was already in the soil. It rained last week pretty good. so. Any nuts, said seeds, or um, stones that were inside the dirt after we did the cleanup and excavating and whatnot, that's what come up. What's, that's what's come about since uh, we put in the mulch and stuff like that. But I did spray yesterday to take care of that. The decomposed granite, we got that from Southwest Boulder and Stone over at the Fullerton branch. Thank you guys over at Southwest Boulder. We'll take a quick look at the front because the front was also done along with the backyard. So we'll take a walk here to the front yard right quick and show you what's happening out here. Pretty much the same thing where we took out the turf that was in the front. There wasn't too much turf here in the front in the first place. So we took it out and uh, replaced it and put in some uh, drought tolerant plants, just a smattering of whatever was the requirement. And it's a lot of room for improvement as you see. Uh, the client's budget was such that they we didn't want to put in any more at this point. I guess they want to get the rebate back and then be able to put more plants in. Whatever they want to do is up to them. On the other side of the driveway, pretty much the same thing. A little sustainability feature here, a little, little water garden thing. <coughs> water comes off of, the, um, off of this drain right here and it goes down this way. And the amount of roots and stuff that was inside of this, uh, this area here from the palm tree was crazy. And so the client didn't want to carry the, uh, the stone all the way to the edge, which would have been more effective. They just wanted to carry it to here. So this is what we have. And they put their own edging up along the edge here to help retain that chip mulch in there. Very simple project, very small uh, from the standpoint of some of the projects that we do. But um, effective for the uh, homeowner and what they wanted. There's a couple areas where there's some leaks. They had to fix those. Couldn't discover them until we turned on the water found out there was piping under here and it was springing his rear in his head so I have a couple areas I got to fix yet cap off some breaks and we can call it a done deal well this is a wrap here pretty much here in um, Laguna Hills California Ed Wallace Midwest Landscaping tips and ideas www.uniqueenvironments.com be sure to give me a thumbs up subscribe punch that like button give me a thumbs up please and um, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Give me your comments and let me know what you think. Give me some ideas, some things you'd like me to cover. And stay tuned because you never know when your boy's going to be in your part of town. Thanks for watching.